ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಲಿತಾ ದಿವ್ಯ ರಹಸ್ಯ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೀ ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ಲಲಿತಾ ದಿವ್ಯ ರಹಸ್ಯ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ವೇಯಿಂಗ್ how is it how how does this happen through the unification of the not born soul born forces in the body there is a balanced state and that balanced state results in saturation that is beyond state beyond taste so beyond taste the saturation leads to the witness mode of operation a lotus like behavior lotus like behavior leads to enlightenment enlightenment leads to the connection to the inner guru the connection to the inner guru leads to the blissful state because guru means ananda that is the happiness contentment so so this training of how to reach the blissful state through the saturation is being provided through the chant to the various namas thousand namas of lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra so let us move on the next nama is niraga so as pointed out earlier previous episodes that uh, there is there are series of duality um, energies through this namas starting from niradhara so niraga what is niraga niraga means uh, having the two extremes or upper bound lower mode uh, low upper bound and lower bound of genetically controlled faculty of intellect and beyond genetically controlled beyond genetics having a uh, having a uh, intellect of a super soul and able to control these two so one end is genetically controlled or genetic um, succumb to genetics a faculty of intellect other in this faculty of having a faculty of intellect of a super soul that is beyond genetic genetics and ability to control this too that is um, niraga so through this uh, the earlier namas the one of the first few namas raga swarupa pasarja krodha karan kusodjala so it was pointed out that uh, raga dvesha um or or nothing but the blood and flesh in our body um so it makes them the excessive uh, blood relation and uh, uh, the dvesha dvesha means envy um so ex- excessive blood relation and the associated nv um results in results in what is known as deha bhranti or body illusion effects so this leads to so this is a vicious cycle that uh, the that uh, it is it is mine so if that is not uh, happening so you are have a person is having individual having excessive relation that uh, he belongs to he or she belongs to me i own that so that is beyond genetics so through that there is a envy generated through the through this envy effects and excessive blood relation effects then the fat gets generated so 
it results in uh, the body illusion effects so they think the body is the um body is the main um main thing they think the body is immortal as if the body is immortal and this leads to um, unsaturated um, fat in the body and then the angry anger or annoyance annoying nature so in this nama ragasvarupa pasadja krodha karangso jula the ragam which is the the blood in the body um was um um was was controlled through pasam which is uh, um which is the noose noose is a thread that one end is being tied uh, it is the technique used to catch the wild animals and uh, uh, dvesham um uh, the 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 annoyance that is the result of this unsaturated fat was controlled through ankusam that is a sharp ob- object that is used to control to tame or control the wild elephants so um so niraga provides uh, training to the individual to overcome this the excessive um blood relations blood, blood relation effects if excessive genera- uh, genetic effects how it trains it trains the individual to um the, the extremes so what happens uh, if if uh, if you are succumb to the the dehbron the body illusion effect and what happens if you are um if you are possessed by a super soul so having these two effects niraga provides uh, niraga gives the training to the individual to stay in the middle so there are many examples of uh, um individuals um who are who have succumbed to them the body illusion effects or they have brought the effects um the prime uh, two prime examples we can discuss are dasaratha and hiranyakashipa okay so um so dasaratha um he he was uh, he had uh, he had at, even at the age of crossing 60000 years he was still under the body illusion effects so he the the super soul um the super soul have transcended to assume a body given opportunity to the sridha and kausalya to as a platform to to assume the body but it doesn't mean that uh, the, so the sridha is he, he has the ownership on the super soul that assume the body the super soul taking up a body is for for the entire universe benefit of the entire universe but dasaratha has um has uh, gone into the body illusion effect and um, um he could not even live without rama, uh, rama so to the extent that he tells vishwamitra that i can i will i will have to die if i let rama pass uh, La, Ra, if i have to send rama with you to the forest um so that was the extent of body illusion effect of uh, dasaratha similarly he he was uh, um his third uh, queen the youngest of the three queens kaika so he was succumb to the the uh, the cosmetics of kaika and uh, so he again there he exhibited the body illusion effect so much to to an extent that uh, um 
he could not live with uh, without vaika so even while going to the war he had to take uh, kaika along with him so this is like this is un, un unprecedented um any anybody will take their girlfriend or a partner to a movie or to picnic or to some um, scenic spot or they go on a honeymoon but here is the case there uh, here is the case the sarada has um taken his wife to even to the war because he could not live without uh, so he could not um he could not have a he cannot spend a moment without uh, seeing her so he he had to take kaika to the war along with him so that is the effect of um body illusion of um um the sarada so similarly um uh, hiranyakashyapa um who was the the who was the king of the the rakshasas are demonic form demonic elements uh, who controlled excessively through the uh, even the divine forms are also there was a serious imbalance that he created uh, through his uh, powers that he got the boons that he got and uh, the prahlada who was son of uh, hiranyakashyapa um so uh, he hiranyakashyapa had uh, severe uh, body illusion effects that he wanted to groom prahlada as the next uh, successor to uh, hiranyakashyapa in the same mold that uh, he can control the the entire universe but uh, prahlada's prahlada prahlada has sadha thoughts at the time and uh, this led to uh, hiranyakashyapa uh, uh, suffer from excessive body illusion effects so so both of these individuals uh, the sarada and hiranyakashyapa has exhibited Uh, body illusion effects and uh, the Ra- rama who was uh, um, the son of dasrada he he neither had any genetic code um, similar to dasrada neither dasrada nor kausalya he did not have any qualities of dasrada or uh, kausalya so he was having a distinct <clears throat> 64 qualities and uh, beyond the 64 he was desireless from the from the from the beginning nowhere in ramayana that uh, uh, it was mentioned that uh, rama has asking for a um asking for a, a fulfillment of any desire similarly the prahlada also he was different from from the time of the from the time he was born he was different and uh, um so he was he, he exhibited himself like a super uh, like a saturated soul so beyond the body illusion effects so these are the two examples of uh, the excessive blood relation and the associated body illusion effects therefore niraga provides uh, training uh, in this direction so in the previous nama the um, nirishvara was uh, discussed and uh, through through kulamruta ikrasika the um the the personality the common personality in a particular tribe or a family uh is been filled with uh, sugar cane effects and then subsequently um four divisions were made to establish the dharma chakra 
and uh, so some of these individuals who could not fit into these divisions, four divisions, various divisions rather, uh, they have turned into wild, untamable individuals. They and they have been transformed subsequently through the the internal formation of genetic transformation that happened. Uh, the formation of three Gandhis and the, the activation of the Kundalini and the, they've been subjected to um, various yogas, yogam, that is samsara yogam, vidya yogam, aishwarya yogam, um, all that. And uh, there are some individuals um, who got uh, enlightenment and uh, promoted were being promoted to the Guru status and they gave training to the rest of the individuals towards the path of Yogam. Um, so through Nirishwara, the, the Sunya Yogam was um, was taught um, and uh, so the, through Nirishwara, the, uh, the, the faculty of discretion was uh, subjected to uh, was emptied as if it is similar to Chedagni Kunda Sambodha Deva Karya Samudjata as if the resetting of the in Chedagni Kunda Sambodha Deva Karya Samudjata the entire faculties were reset because they were burnt the vessels were burnt not the faculties the vessels of the faculties or koshas were burnt but through Nirishwara the, the faculty of discretion vessel was reset or it was emptied So the the any uh, soul that assumes the body definitely it will have genetics uh, associated with it, but there's an extent uh, to which uh, this uh, genetics has uh, will play a role. Uh, it has to be uh, to an extent that this there's only a limit to this nourishment. It cannot be beyond a limit where the overall tribe person uh, overall tribe the intellect of the overall tribe improves or the it cannot be to an extent that this body illusion effect leading to body illusion effect uh, through which there is no real benefit to the overall tribe the intellect of the common intellect of the overall tribe um, so that is that kind of training is being provided through uh, Niraga. So the it is beyond the genetics and beyond the the super soul intellect and the ability to control these two extremes. So the next nama is Raga Madhani. So Raga Madhani, um, Madhani it's, it essentially means it's a churning uh, to get rid of this excessive, um, unsaturated blood relation that um, that was prevalent. Um, so through Niraga, what kind of training, the, the kind of training that was being provided to this training, um, um, the unsaturated um, qualities were identified and they have been subjected to churning through Raga Madhani. So this churning has happened between the faculty of intellect um, and the faculty of discretion. Faculty of intellect, uh, there is a bridge between faculty of intellect and faculty of discretion. Uh, that is buddhi and chittam. Uh, so this uh, churning, through this churning, the excessive body um, blood relation effects were being controlled, and uh, uh, how it is, how it is. Uh, so, um, so after the, after the niranjana, uh, the enlightenment of the 
individual who was behaving like a beast like and uh, he promoted to the guru form um, and he was trying to transform the remaining individuals so it seems that uh, some of these individuals who are um, who are not um, accommodating themselves in any of the schemes um, so they it seems they have some of these individuals have succumbed to the um, body illusion effects and hence the training is being provided so um, so this uh, uh, this controlling of uh, uh, the excessive uh, blood relation through Ragha Madani, it can happen by going back by uh, going back to the Kulantasta uh, energy form, the Kulantasta Nama energy form, and then uh, and then making a churning, creating a churning um, event to get rid of this excessive body um, body relation or blood relation. Um, or it can so the or the controlling through ragamani the controlling can also happen by executing the ragaswarupa pasaja krodha akara so by uh, controlling controlling this uh, blood relation effects the unsaturated blood relation effects through pasam or the noose so the noose can also be employed to control um, uh, to get rid of this un unsaturated mm, blood relation or it can be through Kulantasta. So either of these two can be employed uh, in Ragamadani, uh, the churning that has happened. This churning has happened uh, between the faculty of intellect and faculty of discretion that is the bridge between these two faculties so the next nama is nirmada so nirmada means uh, mada means essentially it is uh, it means fat so nirmada provides um, training to the two extremes um, that is unsaturated fat through the body illusion effect the, the the formation of the unsaturated fat through the body illusion effect and, uh, and the saturated fat that is beyond illusion effect. So by being be beyond these two and able to control these two is Nirmada. So as was pointed out in Niraga, the, the excessive uh, Raga Dvesha, well Raga is the blood relation, Dvesha is the, is the flesh in the body. So this raga excessive uh, blood relation and uh, leads to leads to uh, the adultery in the blood. So that leads to the envy. The envy needs to um, the formation of the fat in the body. Okay, so all these are related to. The body illusion effects. So through Nirmada, this training is being provided uh, with these two extremes: how to control the unsaturated fat um, that is uh, that has resulted uh, due to the body illusion effects, and how to um, the the karmacharana action by going to the karmacharana action of the saturated fat beyond illusion so uh, obviously the mother means uh, the the fat that is generated through the interaction of the blood and the flesh that is raga dvesa so in raga madani um, the churning that has happened uh, uh, 
between the faculty of intellect and the uh, faculty of discretion. So due to the churning, the temperature effects generated, obviously when there is a churning that happens, definitely when there is a churning that happens between, at, uh, that is having an earth element or even the water element, there will be some temperature effects that generate, that is uh, hot co cycle, cold cycle, you know, see, uh, will, will be generated. And uh, uh, so this temperature effects are nothing but uh, the fat. Uh, so the temperature effects um, also means uh, the faculty of personality because faculty of personality is the fire element. So the, this that means the faculty of personality um, having this. Uh, uh, this fat, unsaturated fat, in the case of the individual's body, having body illusion effects, um, is now sitting in between the intellect and discretion, faculty of intellect and discretion, uh, through Raga, uh, through Raga Madani. Okay, so... Uh, And hence, uh, uh, it has, uh, in conjunction with uh, Niraga and Raga Madani forms, um, it is the, the faculty of uh, personality was given training through uh, the Nirmada. So, in this context, uh, in, a, in a particular family, um, uh, a newborn baby, uh, when uh, the newborn baby arrives, um, so it is uh, often heard that uh, the baby was having uh, the characteristics of their ancestors, the grandfather or grandmother or whatever it is. So, so this is an indication of uh, how, to what extent that particular family, that particular tribe has evolved as a whole. So this is an indicative of the overdraft situation. This is an indicative of excessive genetic um, uh, unsaturated um, excessive body illusion effects. This is an indication of um, succumbing, succumbing to the body illusion effects. This is indication of generating the fat. Uh, this is an indication of impure blood and uh, impure flesh in the body. So, uh, by going into this overdraft situation, so-called the overdraft situation, which is, uh, uh, that means we have few generations, um, we are lagging behind by the few generations, although the, the newborn baby has assumed a body, the, the the taste of that new soul, the newborn bo baby soul, um, are not in the are not in the or order of execution because this, their ancestors are still going through the cycle of saturation through this newborn baby. So there's a complete overdraft situation. So because of that, um, what we are supposed to enjoy, let's say. 100 years from now, the nature, nature's resources, we are trying to draw those resources now. That means Mother Nature has to work extra hard for, um, for, a, for a span of hundreds of years. Uh, so the, the efficiency with which Mother Nature has to work is to is to the extent that she has to work so so hard as if she is doing the hundred years of labor to bring the fruit of that fruit that was that will result hundred years from now she is being she is bringing that fruit right now to us to our table so that is the more situation that we are in because it's excessive body rela blood, um, blood relations 
so the, the two prime examples that we that were covered the rama the rama atlada he, he did not have the genetic code of neither scosellian or um the sarada in the case of rama um in the case of prahlada he did not have the genetic code of hirnya kasapa so uh, that's about uh, nirmada is to control the the fat effects in the body so madana next nama is madana madana asini so it's a destroying of the unsaturated fat without any uh, traces from the faculty of the personality that is madanasani so how is it how is this done so through niraga the nourishment to the faculty of intellect was controlled and it was uh, um, controlled in the sense that uh, uh, faculty of intellect was given training to um to the to to the two extremes that is the the body illusion effect and uh, super soul effect and in the process the the excessive unsaturated nourishment was controlled through niraga through raga madhani uh, the vessel of the faculty of intellect um there was a churning that happened in the vessel of the uh, um faculty of intellect and through nirmada um the nourishment um of the faculty of um faculty of personality that is the nourishment uh, of unsaturated fat to the faculty of personality was controlled and through madanasani the the vessel of faculty of uh, personality that is uh, annamaya kosam was completely emptied the contents are emptied which which contains the contents of unsaturated fat so um so uh, so in the so uh, in the previous uh, uh prior to this uh, the through niranjana the enlightenment happened to the individual and uh, he has been risen to the state of guru and uh, so the that guru has given an opportunity to other individuals to uh, get rid of their vikaras or the moods um so it's uh, it, it, we will will um, will use vikara only because that is the right term but vikara means uh, generally it means um, moods positive mood or negative mood or the feelings uh, uh, i think more than the feelings it's a mood so so there's they were given opportunity to overcome this vikaras through the karma charana so nishkarana uh so the there was a training that is administered to how to overcome this vikaras the impressions rather um the the moods that gen, that are being generated through the the unsaturated impressions that is vikara so through nishkarana this uh, vikara has been removed uh, through the karma charana from faculty of mind so through nishkalanka the karma charana was performed to get rid of this vikaras which vikaras the pasu vikaras the animalistic vikaras the impressions of the animalistic behavior and those individuals exhibiting these uh, impressions through their moods those pasu vikaras were removed from the uh, faculty of intellect uh, through nishkalanka that is also done through 
the karmacharana through nirupadhi this uh, uh, impressions of animalistic or pasuvikaras are removed from the faculty of um, the faculty of personality so in this case in when this happens when the the impressions of the animal animalistic impressions are removed from faculties of intellect faculties of faculty of personality faculty of mind so what does the faculty of discretion do in this case so in that um, uh, so a similar situation was encountered in chidagni kunda sambhuta deva karya samudyata um where the the resetting of the faculties was done through um setting the fire to the faculty of discretion vessel so similar thing is happening here after uh, nirupadhi nishkarana nishkalanka nirupadhi then um because the faculty of discretion is not getting any information from the remaining three faculties about this past impressions of the animalistic behavior the vikaras so through uh, nirisvara uh, the faculty of discretion has emptied itself so that's what happened through uh, through the nirisvara so that means the past impressions that are uh, reflecting uh, the animalistic behaviors is removed from nirisvara uh, re- removed from the individual through nirisvara so what has to be done subsequently so if there if that is been removed the impressions uh, of the animalistic is removed and if they still have any other particular any other impressions so that needs to be taken care and that in those impressions are the body illusion effects the blood relation effects the impressions um of this uh, body illusion effects the excessive blood relation effects and uh, the associated uh, um generation of uh, the fat due to nv so only if uh, individual is possessive there is a room to there is a need for envy feeling to to be envy if there is no possessiveness there is no envy so so once this uh, animalistic impressions are been emptied uh, the training the the task of uh, task of um, emptying any other residual impressions including this body illusion effects becomes much more easier because the main task is the main um, hurdle of the enveloping impression was removed through uh, nirishvara so hence the niraga from niraga raga madhani uh, man, uh, nirmada madanasani so these impressions were been Uh, which impressions the body illusion impressions were been taken care so so that is that how it is been taken care through niraga the the nourishment uh, to the to the faculty of uh, intellect is controlled um, controlled in the sense it is controlled um how what is the extent to which the blood relation effects are required and what is the extent to which the the beyond body the super soul intellect is required that training is given and through during this training this training itself is a karma acharana so during this training the unsaturated um uh unsaturated that is been um, uh um, that is been frozen that is uh, uh, like inertia, inertia it is built up so that is been identified and through raga madani through this uh, uh, unsaturated effects the churning happened and uh, and uh, churning happened and uh, the 
the vessel of the intellect, faculty of intellect, that is the Gnana Makosam, um, was removed, uh, the, the contents are removed. And uh, due to that churning, the, the temperature effects happen, which is faculty of personality. And the, the, its vessel, the, which is Anamaya Kosam, gets depleted. That is uh, um, Ragamadani. And through Nirmada, the, uh, so once it is depleted through Nirmada, the training of the Nirmada, uh, through the training of the Nirmada, the unsaturated fat contents were identified. Okay, hence the nourishment is controlled. Uh, through uh, through Nirmada to the faculty of personality and through Madanasani the contents of the vessel of the faculty of personality that is Annamaya Kosam were emptied so that is uh, that is how this genetic um, genetically succumbed so to speak that is blood relation the excessive blood relation was uh, take the impressions of that were taken care through Niraga Ragamadani Nirmada Madanasini. So this completes this sloka, sloka uh, through Niraga the faculty of intellect is received uh, the training Ragamadani um, which is the the churning that is happening between the intellect and discretion in the, along the bridge. So, faculty of discretion is being trained and Nirmada, uh, faculty of personality was given training. And Madhana Asini provides uh, training to the faculty of mind. So, that completes uh, this sloka. So, the remaining Namas we will explore in the next episode. Thank you.